Hi, welcome back to Grit Gym. Today is a continuation of our sports psych series, and this is going to be on one of the most commonly misunderstood topics uh, that I see in sports, and it's extremely important to acknowledge, and even a basic understanding uh, can go a long ways, and that topic is anger. Now, what is anger? Anger is an aggressive, like a very aggressive display to try, to try to, to attempt to psychologically distance oneself uh, from anyone seeing that they're afraid. Now, what does this actually mean? Okay, so, um, okay, so uh, let's say that Red gets afraid for whatever reason. So Red is afraid. Um, it can be for anything. Uh, he lost a wrestling match or he got struck out in baseball. So he didn't think that he performed good enough or well enough, whichever one that is. Anyway, he gets afraid. What's he, what does Red do? Red lashes out with anger at anybody that's around him. Let's say that's the green marker, everybody else that's around him. Now, he's trying to psychologically distance himself from anybody seeing that he's afraid. But... What fear really usually does is attracts uh, more of what we did not want. We didn't want anybody to see that we were afraid, but we threw this huge fit, uh, this huge display, um, and it, it caused all this attraction to us, and everybody could see that we were afraid. But hardly anybody understands that, that anger is just fear, so it doesn't really, really matter. Now, is it important to go over this with an athlete when, uh, when they are afraid? No. Uh, let them go and cool off because we don't really think logically and emotionally at the same time. Really, we don't really think emotionally anyway. You're not a lot of thinking going on there. So go cool off and go over it later. But um, but anger is based on fear. It's just a it's just something to cover up that you're afraid. You're just trying to not let people see that you're afraid. And we've all been there. We've all done this. We've all gotten angry, and we've all seen people get angry. Um, now, if we play angry, we are playing afraid. And if we are playing afraid, we're not going to do as well as we potentially could have. Now, everybody has fear. It's not a matter of if you have fear or not. Like, no fear? Yeah. Bull crap. Um, everybody has fear. It's whether you will manage it or not. Will fear manage you? Or will you manage your fear? And this goes for me as well. I, we make the decision all the time. Will I manage my fear? Or will my fear manage me? It's, it's extremely important to acknowledge this. And it's also a point in competition to capitalize on an opponent. Go after this. You see your opponent get, get angry. It means that they're afraid. Go after them. Finish them. You know, this is, this is a time in wrestling you pin the guy. In baseball, this is where you attack him on the inside as a pitcher. Because he's afraid. He's pissed off. He can't think. And when he can't think, he can't. He, he's not really there. Okay? We really can't, we can't be logical when he can't be present. He's pissed off about something else. And he's afraid. So you take this opportunity. This is like uh, if you were a hunter and you're, uh, you shoot an animal it's sitting there bleeding but it's not all the way dead. And this is like not being willing to put it, in, put it out of its misery. Okay? Kill it. Finish it. Finish your opponent. This is your opportunity to do that. Okay? Because he's just going to go deeper and deeper and deeper into his or her own fear. And eventually, either he or she is going to take themselves out of the game, or the coach is going to pull them out of the game. You won. Okay? In competition, you are there to win. So take advantage of this. Now, in a cooperative setting, this is completely different. In a cooperative setting, like with a boyfriend, girlfriend, or, um, or spouse, or parent, friends, coaches even, um, this is totally different. This is a time to listen and ask questions. See, asking questions brings out um, a more of a logical state of mind uh, in when uh, apparently when negotiators uh, talk with suicide suicide cases where they're about to jump off a building they just start asking them questions to get them to think more logically uh, and it's a lot easier to set up a dialogue and discuss things with people who are logical imagine that now it also builds clarity because you figure out what you're actually talking about um, and then listening listening builds safety 
for the other person. It gives them a voice so that they feel a little bit more powerful. And it also means that you are more powerful. You're practicing power because you're willing to sit there and not engage and uh, join them in their invitation. Um, to, to They're giving you an invitation to join them in their fear and you're not taking it. Okay? Don't, don't take their invitation to go to, to anger and fear with them. Don't do that. Sit there and listen to them. And eventually they'll calm down and things will become more clear and you'll figure out what you're actually talking about. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? I'm trying to gain, I'm trying to gain clarity. On, and maybe you two have to go your separate ways and then come back and talk about it later. But the point is just sit there and be present and listen with them. Okay. Now, I think it is extremely important to take away the synonyms. Call it what it really is. You have all these words, you know, I got angry, mad, I got pissed off, etc. Whatever all the other ones are. Call it what it is. I got afraid. Because that's what it is. If you want to combat this thing and you want to get better at the sports psych stuff and you want to get better, I mean, this can go way past sports. Uh, but it's a, it's a good thing to get better at. It's, a, it's, a, it's extremely important to acknowledge this. And we've all been there. Like I said, we've all seen this and we've all done this. We've all gotten angry and we've also seen people get angry. Acknowledge what it is. Okay? And then you can start having better reps better uh, repetitions at doing it a different way so that you can perform better, so that you can be a better person for the friends that you're with or you can live a better life and all this other stuff. So begin acknowledging that anger is just fear because it's useful, but it's not useful to go into anger to try to compete. 